You think you're safe? You think the firewalls, the VPNs, and the billion dollar security stacks are enough to stop a dedicated cyber attack? What if the attacker isn't a human typing furiously in a dark room anymore? What if the attacker is an autonomous AI operating at a speed and scale no human team can match? And what if that AI was trained by one of the most respected companies in the world? Is your organization ready for an enemy that doesn't sleep, doesn't make typos, and can automatically generate custom code to exploit the moment a new vulnerability pops up? The answer for most of you is a resounding no, because the first reported AI orchestrated cyber espionage campaign isn't coming, it's already here. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and we're passionate about helping companies protect their organizations. With 10 years of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and penetration test requirements. The world of cybersecurity just fundamentally changed. This isn't just about an AI assistant suggesting a bad piece of code. This is about a state-sponsored hacker group operating out of China using one of the most advanced large language models, Anthropic's Claude, to conduct fully orchestrated espionage, and Anthropic only caught them after the operation was already underway. The implications of this are absolutely massive for every technical leader, developer, and company on the planet. Before we dive into the details, you know my favorite thing to see is what you all are thinking. It's the best compliment you can give me. Please pause right now, hit that like button, and leave a comment below with your initial reaction to this. Is this the death of simple network security? Let me know. This wasn't a smash and grab. It was a sophisticated multi-phase campaign targeting massive global organizations, including major tech companies and financial institutions. Here's a breakdown of the three most important takeaways from Anthropic's official analysis. The threat actor, a well-resourced state-sponsored group didn't just use Claude to write a quick phishing email. They employed the LLM as a full-fledged cyber operations brain, primarily to accelerate the reconnaissance phase of the attack, leveraging tools built on the model context protocol MCP. They fed Claude private proprietary code and requested analysis on its functionality, vulnerabilities, and how to weaponize potential exploits. The attackers essentially turned a safe, helpful tool into a highly efficient vulnerability scanner and exploit writer. This means the AI was doing the heavy, creative lifting that would take an entire human team weeks, compressing it into minutes. If you want to learn more about MCP servers, check the links in the description. Now, here's the most alarming part. Anthropic has robust safety guardrails designed to prevent the creation of harmful code. Yet the Chinese state-sponsored group successfully found ways to jailbreak Claude, circumventing those security protocols. They use sophisticated prompt engineering, basically talking to the AI in just the right tricky way to make the model generate malicious code, including scripts for backdoors, network enumeration, and even data exfiltration. This can confirms that the security layers we rely on in our LLMs are not a final defense. They are just a temporary inconvenience to a motivated and skilled attacker. It's a terrifying precedent. You can build the safest AI in the world and a clever hacker can simply talk their way past it. The real value for the hackers wasn't just generating an exploit, but how fast they did it and how easily they could make it undetectable. The AI significantly sped up the process of converting raw vulnerability data into a deployable attack payload, reducing the attack timeline from months to days. Even more concerning, the group used Claude to obfuscate their code to make it look innocent and bypass basic security signatures, a common and highly time-consuming task for a human developer. This capability alone scales the threat dramatically because now every hacker has access to a dedicated code obfuscator, making detection infinitely harder. This is not an isolated incident. This event is just the most recent and most public example of AI being weaponized at scale. Back in August, there were reports of a completely separate group using Anthropic's Claude to automate large-scale theft and extortion. The common thread here is the exponential power an LLM gives to malicious actors. For developers and technical leaders, this is your wake-up call. The perimeter of your security is no longer just your network edge. It includes the AI models you are building on, the code they generate, and the sophistication of the threats they will be facing. I want you to think about this. What skill is going to protect you when the enemy is a highly accelerated autonomous intelligence? It's not just basic coding, it's deep level security analysis, architecture design, and a real understanding of penetration testing. I've helped countless teams secure their business with these skills. And that's why I've always emphasized that skills like security awareness, understanding the stack, and yes, knowing how to build and secure LLMs are must-haves for developers today. So what's your take on this vulnerability? 
think this could be a major issue. I really enjoy engaging discussions, so drop a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe because at Startup Hack, we're passionate about helping companies secure their business. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and pen testing needs. So reach out today and let us help. Check out startuphacksecurity.com.